Is it possible we could give you one move that would give you more shaft lean, better compression, club face square, club swinging on plane? What else do you want? And I'm going to tell you this for free. We, we can't be doing this, right? This is a joke. No. All right. Right after this, we're going to show you how to do that. So Harvey Pinnock was known for his magic move. This little move I'm going to show you here, you might call it a miracle move once you get into your swing. It's really simple. And the concept is, is that most of us, because we have a pretty good grip, typical two knuckle left hand grip, etc. When we set up to a golf shot, this wrist is going to be a little bit cupped and that's fine. So the move we're going to learn to do here is we're going to take this wrist and flatten it out okay now when I do that a couple great things start to happen number one the club moves behind my hand so I've got shaft lean number two the club elevates off the ground so now I'm getting compression number three I'm keeping the club face square to its arc that we're swinging on and number four when I flatten this wrist out it moves the club backwards right but when I do this on a tilt it planes the club again flatten this out now that's swinging on a level plane but because I'm swinging on a tilt you can see it actually planes the shaft so I don't have to roll the shaft around to get it on plane that moves the golf club to the right and all I need is a little bit a little bit of radial deviation which is me pushing down on the handle to get that golf club to go right up that plane okay so again, we're going to go normal configuration, flat, on plane. See, the club face kind of matches my spine angle. As long as I don't interfere with that. So I go to the top. You can see this nice, flat-looking position that everybody loves to see on camera. And it's nothing complex. It's just learning to go that right there okay okay so how does this move work as far as keeping the club face square well hopefully the club face is pretty square to dress so if I show you the golf club up here up here you see it's pretty square right so when I flatten the left wrist it doesn't change the face angle it's just move the face or the club head to the right so it's not opening or closing the face now when I tilt over you can see this pretty much matches my spine and that's because we're swinging on a plane that's not level to the floor and generally this club's going to run through your body not quite 90 degrees to your spine but fairly close and that's going to be your basic measurement of looking at face angle So now we don't have to have all this excessive rotation of the shaft to get the club face square. So how does this move work for getting the shaft lean forward? Same thing. If I set up to a ball here, even if I play the ball pretty far forward from some people's perspectives with a 7-iron, flatten the lead wrist, the club is behind the hands now. Okay. All I need is a little bit of movement into the ball, a little bit of rotation, a little bit of accelerating the arms and hands forward. And wow, I've got that 
from that. It's not even this radial deviation thing people are trying to do to get the shaft lean forward. Isn't that weird? So I don't have to look like this coming into the ball to get the club lean forward? No. I could be here, okay? That looks like a lot of difference, right? How much more shaft lean do you really need than that right there? Would you really want much more than that? No. So it's coming from that. I'm gonna walk you through how to learn this. It's very simple. Start slow, please start slow. Set up to a ball. Flatten the left wrist. Go to about P2. Make sure your weight's shifted forward before you swing down. Just move the club. Move your arms, move your hands, rotate your body a little bit. Now let's stop somewhere around here, okay? Let's start here in a little motion so that we can become confident that we're gonna be able to collect the ball, get the divot in front of the ball. All these shots should draw or go very straight unless you don't hit them off the center of the face. So go slow, and that's how you're gonna learn it, and you're gonna love the results from this, okay? So give this a like. We need some more likes. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching.